Dobbin consists of four dioceses and a prelature, the Diocese of Dipolog, the Archdiocese of Ozamis, the Diocese of Pagadian, the Diocese of Iligan, and the prelature of Marawi. Dopim was created as one ecclesiastical province with the Archdiocese of Ozamis as metropolitan. The Jesuits pioneered the mission work in Dipolog in the 16th century with Dapitan, Katipunan or Lubungan, and Dipolog is their visitas or mission stations. They reached out to the natives, evangelized and converted their leaders, and eventually baptized them to the Catholic faith. The Jesuits' efforts to plant the seed of faith and form early communities of believers did not come with ease. One of them, Padre Francesco Paliola, was martyred in Punot, now a settlement. The process of his canonization is ongoing. Upon the suppression of the Jesuits, the Augustinian recollects took over the mission works, which led to the establishment of more visitas, which were eventually erected into new parishes. The diocese was erected on July 31, 1967, with the Most Reverend Felix S. Zafra, D.D., taking canonical possession of the diocese on October 24, 1967. He invited collaborators like the Claritians, the Redemptorists, the RVM Sisters, the Holy Spirit Sisters, the Blessed Virgin Missionaries of Carmel, the Marinol Fathers, and the Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions, PIME Fathers to help him evangelize and convert the local inhabitants of the province. The second bishop, Most Reverend Jose Armangiran Didi, took canonical possession of the diocese on September 9, 1987. He immersed his clerics and the faithful into the importance of ecology and care for the whole of God's creation. The third bishop of Dipolog, Most Reverend Severo C. Kairmare Didi, took canonical possession of the diocese on October 30, 2014. The Archdiocese of Ozamis was formerly part of the Diocese of Cagayan de Oro. On January 27, 1951, the papal bull of Pope Pius XII, Supremum Nobis, created the prelature of Ozamis under the bishopric of Patrick Cronin. The diocese was eventually erected on February 17, 1971, with Most Reverend Jesus Y. Varela D.D. as its first bishop. On January 24, 1983, the diocese was elevated into an archdiocese with Arch Jesus A. Dosado D.D. as first archbishop. He was Archbishop of Ozamis for 33 years. The second archbishop, Most Reverend Martin S. Humoa D.D., was installed on October 4, 2016. The St. Mary's Theologate is located in the Archdiocese. It has been instrumental in increasing the number of priests in the ecclesiastical province. The Diocese of Pagadian was part of the Archdiocese of Zamboanga. It was elevated as a diocese on November 12, 1971. On May 31, 1973, Most Reverend Jesus B. Tuki was installed as its first bishop. The Columban Fathers who came from Ireland, America, Australia, and New Zealand generously aided the young diocese and its bishop. They worked hard, not only in ministering to the different parishes and engaging in the various apostolates of the diocese, but also in their fight to eliminate illiteracy. In 1984, Most Reverend Antonio R. Tobias took charge of the diocese. He is well remembered for his vision of a unified pastoral action that would include the poor in the creation of a church in the spirit of PCP2. When Bishop Tobias was transferred to La Union, Monsignor Patricio Getigan H.P., 1993-1994, was appointed diocesan administrator. The Most Reverend Zacharias C. Jimenez was appointed Bishop of Pagadian on January 6, 1995. He promoted interfaith dialogue and lay empowerment and was well known for his efforts of strengthening the basic ecclesial communities. When Bishop Jimenez was transferred to Butuan as Auxiliary Bishop, the Bishop of Marawi, Edwin de la Peña, was appointed Administrator of the Diocese. On May 14, 2004, Redemptorist Emmanuel Cabahar, CSSR, was appointed as 4th Bishop of Pagadian and was installed on September 2, 2004. Most Reverend Ronald I. Lunas, STL, was appointed as the 5th Bishop of Pagadian on November 22, 2018. He was ordained to the Episcopate on February 22, 2019, 
making him the first homegrown bishop from the Diocese of Digos in its 40 years of existence. With the burning hearts of the early missionaries like the Jesuits, the Augustinian recollects and other religious congregations, planting the seed of faith in the hearts of the local inhabitants, Iligan was erected a parish in 1834 and as a prelature of Iligan on February 17, 1971. Most Reverend Bienvenido Estudtudiri was appointed as the prelate ordinary of the prelature of Iligan on March 24, 1971. Bishop Tudtud strongly felt the need to work for peace through his Dialogue of Faith and Life program to maintain peace, understanding, and coexistence among the Christians, Muslims, and Lumans. On April 30, 1977, the Auxiliary Bishop of Davao, Most Reverend Fernando Arcapalia Didi, was appointed as the Prelate Bishop of Iligan. He was installed on May 26, 1977. On November 15, 1982, the Prelature of Iligan was elevated into a diocese and the incumbent prelate bishop, Most Reverend Fernando Arcapalia D.D., became the first bishop of the Diocese of Iligan. When Bishop Capalia was elected Archbishop of Davao on July 18, 1994, Monsignor Leo Ilabiste took over as the appointed diocesan administrator until July 18, 1995, when Most Reverend Emilio Albataclan D.D. was installed as the third bishop of Iligan. He was appointed to the office on May 3, 1995, and has served Iligan for 10 years. In 2005, Monsignor Ramon Fruto O, CSSR, was appointed as Apostolic Administrator until the election and installation of Most Reverend Elenito de los Reyes Galido, DD, on September 18, 2006. When Bishop Galido died on December 5, 2017, Pope Francis appointed the Bishop of Dipolog, most Reverend Severo C. Caramare as Apostolic Administrator on December 6, 2017. On June 13, 2019, Pope Francis appointed Most Reverend Jose Ramirez Rapadas III as Bishop of Iligan. He took canonical possession on September 5, 2019. The Prelature of St. Mary in Marawi was created on November 20, 1976. It is a land where Muslims dominate and Christians remain a small but courageous minority. On December 8, 1976, the Prelature of Marawi was erected, with Bishop Tudtud appointed as its first bishop. The speed of the process manifested Pope Paul VI's interest in interreligious dialogue among Muslims and Christians in the Philippines. Hence, the purpose of the Prelature is not for conversion, but for dialogue of life and faith. On June 26, 1987, Bishop Tudtud died in a tragic plane crash. Bishop Fernando Capalia of the Diocese of Iligan was appointed as Apostolic Administrator until 1991 when a Columban missionary, Monsignor Desmond Hartford, was appointed as Apostolic Administrator. Father Irwin A. de la Peña was installed as Prelate of the Prelature of Marawi on August 12, 2000 and appointed as Bishop of Marawi on October 21, 2001. On December 27, 2001, Bishop Edwin de la Peña was consecrated Bishop at the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Ozamis City. On May 23, 2017, a war broke out in Marawi. The rebels sieged the cathedral, taking as hostages Father Chito Sogano, some parishioners and parish workers, and burned the bishop's house. At present, the presence of some religious and missionary congregations is of great help to the prelature. The missionaries of Jesus are doing their ministry in Malabang, the Mission Society of the Philippines in Sultanaga de Maporo, and the Order of Friars Minor in Balui. The Redemptorists had their mission in Balabagan in 2021 and took care of the parish until May of 2022. The Columban missionaries, the CICM, and some dioceses also assisted the mission works in Marawi. Father Rodolfo Galenzoga was sent by the Diocese of Iligan during the time of Bishop Capalia. Diocese of Malaybalay sent Father Irap in 1999 to 2001, and the Diocese of Dumaguete sent Father Mon Torres in 2017 during the Marawi siege until this time. The diocesan priests incarnated to Marawi and diocesan priests on loan are among the religious missionaries in the prelature. Despite the many challenging and pressing situations, 
the Prelitcher continues to live in dialogue of life and faith. As each diocese in Dobbin continue to embark on more creative evangelization, the faithful in this part of the country are sure to be journeying.